In the Mediterranean, we can find much more uh, sea turtles than we may imagine. They are found mainly between the Balearic Islands, uh, Sardinia, and Northern Africa. In this region, you can find turtles of two different origins. Some of them uh, were born in the Mediterranean, but others uh, were born in, in North America, crossed the Atlantic, spent several years here, and then they came back to their natal region again. However, large head turtles are endangered and species. There are several reasons, but the two most important are uh, tourism that destroy nesting beaches and the incidental capture uh, with fishing gears. Drifting long lines kill annually 10% of the turtles inhabiting the southwestern Mediterranean. Uh, some time ago, fishermen used it to eat the turtles they capture. Now this is not possible because turtles are legally protected and fishermen release them uh, to the ocean immediately after capture. The problem is that 40% of the turtles incidentally caught by fishermen die after release. Uh, we know this because our studies of turtle behavior in the ocean allow us to, uh, to know how many turtles survive and how many turtles die after release. For our research, we have used data loggers attached to the carapace of turtles that record depth and time at surface periodically and send us this information using satellites. Sea turtles spend most of the time underwater, but periodically they have to surface for breathing. So when turtles stay too long in the surface or stay too long at a certain depth or dive, deeper than a given threshold, we may infer that the animal is actually dead. Why did released animals die? This is because of the injuries caused by the hooks and by the line. For instance, if the turtle swallows the line, it, be it becomes stiffer and may cut the gut of the animal and, and causing its death. Uh, how can we avoid this unnecessary uh, death of turtles? For instance, the, the fishing fleet of the United States has on board observers that take care of the animals incidentally caught. Actually, in Hawaii, the fishing season is closed once a given amount of turtles have been captured. Obviously, the, this has a, a strongly negative impact on the fishing industry, but there are other approaches that can be adopted to reduce the impact on the turtles without jeopardizing the economic sustainability of the fishery. One of the possible solutions is raising the turtle on board using a scoop net, cutting the line as close to the mouth as possible and releasing it again. Other approaches try to reduce the bycatch of turtles. For instance, changing uh, the type of bait uh, for using fish instead of a squid or shifting from uh, J-shaped hooks to circular hooks or deploying the long lines at night when turtles do not eat or deploying the long lines in deeper areas out of the reach of turtles. Implementing all these operational changes will result in a much lower bycatch of turtles. Furthermore, cutting the line as short as possible of those turtles that were caught will dramatically improve the possibility that she survives after release. In this way, long line will no longer be a threat for the conservation of lorehead turtles in the Mediterranean and we will approach to a more sustainable fishing and more respectful with the environment.